All right, hey, what's up, folks? Today, we're looking at converting a carboxylic acid into an ester. In this case, we're looking at converting benzoic acid into methyl benzoate, and our reagent is methanol, so CH3OH, and we're using uh, an acid H3O+. Now, like I said, you can just replace this. Where's my green marker? I lost my green marker. You can just replace this with R prime OH, and you'd end up with whatever you have here. So your R group, and then, you know, C double bond O, O, R prime. This is just, this example here is a specific application because I find that students, is like, it's 50-50. Some people like to use specific examples. Some people like to use specific examples. Other people like to look at more general reactions and then mentally in their head can replace things with the R and R prime groups as they go along in solving the question. That being said, enough rambling. Let's get into the mechanism. So, this mechanism begins by, remember, on our carbonyl here, we're going to have a lone pair of electrons on the oxygen. What that will do, or what those will do, is they will go ahead and attack our acid in solution, our H3O+. Plus. It's, a, it's a donor of H+. Plus. Pick any one of these hydrogens, any one of these hydrogens, and once you remove one of those hydrogens, these electrons will collapse towards the oxygen, and you form H2O. So we don't care about that. Now what we end up with is over here, we have a protonated carbonyl group, so C double bond OH, where oxygen, remember if oxygen has three bonds, it's going to have a charge of plus, so that's why we have a plus here. Okay, now what, well, the next step is our methanol, or our R prime OH, whatever you want, will now come in and I erase, sorry, I erase one of these long pairs. The lone pairs on the OH will now go ahead and do what? They will attack this carbonyl because it is susceptible to attack. So we're going to go and attack this carbonyl. When we do that, what's going to happen is we're going to have to break the double bond because carbon can only have four bonds. If we were to build this bond, it would have five, and we can't have that in organic chemistry. So we're over here now. I think you can. Can you see this? Yeah, you should be able to see this. Okay, so what's going to happen now is notice how we have these two OH groups. Right? We produced there's this OH that has remained unchanged. Then there was our carbonyl that we protonated, and then once this uh, methanol attacked, we formed an OH group over here. So what's going to happen is either one of these OHs, I'm going to pick this one, will use its lone pairs to attack the H that was on the methanol. Right. So take a minute to understand what I just said. Once that happens, it'll remove that H, and these electrons will collapse towards oxygen. These electrons will collapse towards oxygen. When that happens, we will end up with an OH2 group and an OH group. So really nothing changed. You could have chosen this group or this group, all the same, as long as you end up with an OH2 group. And that H plus comes from, sorry, that H comes from where? Your CH3OH, uh, this thing here, so this hydrogen, right? So that's, that's the most important thing here. Now the next thing is uh, what's going to happen is your OH group, not your OH2 group, your OH group will now donate electrons to build C double bond O, to build C double bond O. Once you build C double bond O, you're now going to kick out a group. Which group are you going to kick out? Well, what group in what group on the compound right now is most susceptible to leaving, right? Well, we did it in the previous set, which is this group right here, this OH2 group. OH2 is readily, it's like, you know what, kick me out. I do not want to be here. So once we build that C double bond O, we can easily kick out the OH2 group. In doing so, we end up with this. We end up with C double bond O. Hey, we have a C double bond O here. That's what we want. Our, remember, our ester is the final product. So the whole point of doing this mechanism is what the hell are the most productive steps that I can take to go from here to here? And as you can see, we're almost there. The only thing that we really need to remove now is this H. Well, let's take a pause for a minute and... What have we removed that can, what have we just produced in solution that can take this H from us? H2O. H2O. So H2O will now do what? I think it's better I move over here. H2O will now do what? H2O will go ahead and attack or remove this H that's attached to our carbonyl. Once it does that, these electrons will collapse towards oxygen. Once they do that, you end up with your methyl benzoate. So remember, methyl benzoate. I'm not going to get into naming. Uh, uh, esters, that's not my job. And, uh, well, side product, of course, you reform your H3O+. H3O+, H3O+, plus. we produced it in this step. Not rocket science. Very, very simple. Uh, seems a little bit complicated, but once you do this a couple of times, and you solve a couple of practice questions, which I'm hoping to do in the next couple of videos, this will become second nature, and you'll do very well. Good luck.